by Billy Squire. Which I was supposed to reply with, uh, I'm very familiar with that. Because I recently celebrated my 21st wedding anniversary with my lovely wife, Jill. Yeah! Yeah! People ask me all the time, what's the secret to a successful marriage? And if I'm being honest, porn. <laughs> no, seriously. We all hear the saying, happy wife, happy life, right? Well, you can learn a lot more about pleasing a woman from a porno mag or a porno than from any doctor or therapist. And definitely more than from your parents. Especially my parents. I mean, I was raised strict Catholic, so making love was for procreation, done missionary style. Batteries were not included. There were no toys, no rusty trombones, no Cleveland steamers, no shockers, not even doggy style. Sex was a chore to create babies, like ironing or churning butter. At least for my mom. My dad, on the other hand, he enjoyed chores. He was always off doing chores for the ladies in the neighborhood. Lots of bedroom lights needed change. But I really can't blame him. I mean, he bought the cow and the milk went sour. I don't remember either of my parents having a sex talk with me. I mean, the closest I recall, my mom found a, a condom in my jeans. Yes, a single condom. Even if I did get lucky that night, the girl brightened up so much. <laughs> but she confronted me about it. Uh, if you think you're old enough to have a family, raise blah, 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 you know, which I replied back with my teenage know it allism. Why do you think I'm wearing one? Yeah. <laughs> but so much has changed since then. Uh, the source of porn has changed dramatically. I mean, there was no internet or DVDs back then. There was barely cable TV or VHS. Porno movies were actually played in movie theaters. But that was reserved for adult perverts. I mean, if you were a kid, Magazines were the gold standard. You could smuggle a Playboy into school if you were a king for the day. You know, and our new best friend. Nowadays, everybody's the fucking king. I mean, you got the greatest porn library in the history of the world in the palm of your hand. And you're dicking your clit in the other. <laughs> but speaking of masturbation, been working from home for the past two and a half years. So, uh, needless to say, I've watched a lot of porn online. All for free, okay? Is there anyone in here that actually pays for porn online? Thank you very much. Everybody thanks you. No, it's a multi-billion dollar industry, and there's like two customers. <laughs> kind of lost my train of thoughts here, <laughs> but uh, I think I figured it out. There's two types of people that actually pay for porn online, and neither of them come to comedy clubs. I mean, your first group is your uber rich, right? I mean, they just want what they want, they want it now. I want 4K HD quality, no buffering. Sounds fucking great to me, man. I mean, I grew up trying to just scramble skin and axe on a, you know, a legal cable box, so you know, it doesn't take much to get me going. Hey, I think that was a nipple. Yeah. The other group is the super religious. Now their problem is they feel too guilty to lust and steal at the same time. You can only be involved in one. But speaking of religions, uh, most of them have a concept of nirvana, heaven, and when your loved ones pass, they become guardian angels looking down on you, right? What do you think they're doing when you're masturbating? Ice tea? Ice tea? The next time you're uh, making a bald man cry, or uh, buffing your muffin, just remember, you're not alone. Your loved ones are watching in horror as you desecrate yourself. Me, I'm more spiritual than religious. 
and I'm also a huge sports fan. So when I'm pulling the goalie or uh, <laughs> playing some five on one, uh, I feel no guilt at all. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm fucked already. So enjoy the show, Grandma. <laughs> That's my time. Thank you very much.